Hello, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add an element at the beginning of the array. Let's go ahead and create an array. Uh, just go ahead and create an array called num, and uh, I initialize a few elements with some values. Okay, uh, so in this case, I have only four elements. And now, what I have to do is I simply have to go ahead and start. Uh, uh, if I want to add an element at the beginning of the array, uh, since I cannot have an index lower than zero, I cannot have an index in array minus one, uh, I always can start from zero. This indicates that uh, I have to shift everything to the right first. So meaning I have to create a new index at the beginning of the array, uh, sorry, at the end of the array, shift everything to the right and then overwrite the first element value. So uh, what I'm going to do is I have to make something like this. At this moment, I have four elements. But if you look at the index, this is 0, 1, 2, and 3. Last element index is 3. So what I have to do is first I've got to create an element, a uh, new element, which is index 4. doesn't exist. So then I have to go ahead and copy element number index 3, which is the last element, to uh, the new one, right? the one I just created. And then I have to go ahead and uh, let me just remove the comments so you can see it better. So then I have to remove the second one to the third one, second element to the third element. Okay. Then I have to copy the first element to the second element. And then finally, I have to copy the first element to the second element. Of course, when I'm done with all these things, I can simply go ahead and say, okay, overwrite the first element, let's say by uh, 55, something like that, right? So let's go ahead and write this, see how we can accomplish this task. Of course, I need a loop because again, if you look at this, uh, a pattern is keep repeating, only the index is changed, right? So I go ahead and use the for loop here. I'll go ahead and start from the very first element. There are many variation of this. There are so many different ways of doing these tasks uh, using the loop. Uh, I just show you one. You can use your imagination and go on and create a logic to do the exact same thing with different values or different start and so on. So I go all the way to the end of the array. In this case, it's going to be num.length, right? And I will increment the value by one uh, so I can go through different sequence of the or different indexes of the array. So the very first thing I have to do is I've got to go ahead and insert one uh, to fourth element or the fifth element that doesn't exist, right? We all know if I go and type num.length, it always gives me the number of element, right? So in this case, uh, if I have here one, two, three, four, this will return four, which is the index of the element that I don't have here, right? So I can simply go ahead and say this is equal num, uh, num.length, right? minus one. So in this case, what I'm doing is I'm just copying the third element to a new element that doesn't exist, right? So I simply copy 44 to the new element that I'm creating. Of course, I'm, I'm inside the loop, so I have to figure out a way to change this equation so it can go in sequence and it can go from the end of the array toward the beginning of the array. So it has to start copying or shifting everything to the right. So the variable that I can use here is i, since i is going to be incremented by one every single time. So I can sub, uh, subtract the length by uh, the value of i. So in this case, at the beginning is four, then it becomes three, two, and one, right? So same thing here, uh, because I have to move the other one as well to the left, I simply put the i there. So if I go ahead, save this, and let me run this for you. And if I open the console, and just go ahead and type num, you can see all the values are shifted to the right and you can see a double copy of the first element here, 11, 11, right? So now if I go back to my code, right after the loop, simply I can go ahead and execute the very last element, right? So I can simply go ahead and do this. So at the end, uh, I will overwrite the first element value with 55. Let me go ahead and refresh this page one more time. Run this. Here you go. So I have inserted a new element at the beginning of array. 
There's some other ways of doing this. Uh, there are built-in functions that I can use. Like I can go and say num on shift, right? And put 66 in there. Let's go ahead and see the value. So this should add a value uh, at the beginning of the array and add 66. So I'll refresh my page here and I will just print the num one more time. You can see 66 is added. This is what I added with the for loop. This is what I added with the function. There is one more, one more way to do this. I can go and use the uh, splice function. I can say start from the zero element, first element. Uh, zero meaning do not remove any element because you can use a splice to remove an element uh, that you want, number of elements you want. Uh, so I can say remove two elements, one element, and so on. Here I'm saying do not remove anything, and I would say insert this value. So this basically what it does is starts at the beginning of the array and insert a new element, and that element value will be 77. Let's go back to the browser and see the result. So if I just print this, as you can see, 77, 66, 55, and so on. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, talk to you soon. Bye.